hello and welcome everyone today i'm going to help you download and install floodlight stn controller uh, we will uh, clone the master branch from the github and we'll also see how we are going to resolve the issues which we will face during this installation so first of all we just uh, have to check the environment here i have ubuntu machine let me show you the version So this is the 20.04 code name is focal. So here's the version information. Next, uh, we have to check other tools like for example, Java version this is 1.8.0 because we need to use this uh, master branch of the flood light. Next, uh, Java, same, okay. And version and memory. VM. So Apache M1 3.6.3. Now, if you don't have all of these tools installed, we need to get them first before we start with the flood light installation. So let's clear. So sudo apt install build essential python dev open jdk 8 jdk my one and get so these are the tools which we uh, uh, need to get before we start with the installation of the uh, floodlight so i already have so they, they just will be uh, updated or uh, there will be no change in case they are the latest version password yeah now it started so you can see here and is already the newest maven is already the newest python dev is uh, python 2 is already the newest okay build essential the newest one it is already uh, newest and open jdk the updated one and so on so for me because i have already uh, built the environment for you you have to get all of these tools before you start with the uh, next command so now we have to get the copy of the source of the floodlight stn controller from the github so sudo git which we already installed clone http so this is the command we need to issue to uh, clone the master branch of the uh, floodlight controller from the github cloning into floodlight so you have to uh, you know note that i am at my home directory so this will be in the home directory okay the cloning is done next we need cd for light you can check the files now we have to build a file using and so before that we can use sudo and clean okay now we can use sudo and to build the Java file. This is going to fail because it shows some Apache Thrift library exceptions or errors. So here we have to make certain changes to the build.xml and we need to change to library files. So then we will build it again. So what we have to uh, do to do that first uh, let us get the files from the memory repository. So you go to the memory repository, you just uh, click here and type thrift and here is the Apache thrift, you click here, what we need to get is 14.1, uh, so this one is tested, so I will just click this one and here you will click on the jar file, yeah it's keep, so this one came here, next what we have to do is to get the netty all. This is netty all so we need to get dot 66 this one 4.1.66 final here is the java file so these are the two files so these are the two files we have to get two libraries close this open another tab here cd home back cd downloads list so we have these files i think i have already 
got these files before so this is the actual one now we are going to use these two now what we have to do we have to copy them sudo cp thrift to home directory and for a light slash lib there's the first one and then the second one okay this is the uh, second file which we need to the, that's uh, the first part of the uh, task now we have to go back to okay here we need to edit build.xml so we use uh, a text editor gedit build.xml we have to change it so we must uh, issue the command using sudo in this file we need to update the names of these two libraries so first one is netty so we use 4.1.66 so we have to update this 4.1.66 final.jar so this is the final uh, name of this library which we are going to use it should look like this then next one is uh, lib thrift so this one is 14.1 so it has to be now 14.1 so this should be the, how it looks after we make the changes so that's it and then save so these two steps are very important first we have to get the files put them into the light light lib and second we have to update the build.xml close so now we can go back and sudo and clean success sudo and Okay, the build is successful. So we have successfully built the flood light controller. Now uh, we can check cd target ls. So here is our floodlight dot jar. So get back to the flood light. Now we have to run the controller and test it. So let's run the controller flood light java jar target slash right dot jar enter so let's try this let's open the browser ui slash index now first time if you are building this you might have this issue okay so here it's not displaying the ui properly because we haven't got sub modules so let's get back here control c stop the controller and let us issue a few more commands to get the sub modules so that we can have web gui running so here it says okay permission zero this will be the update the latest one because we just cloned the master branch so it's already the updated one next what we have to do is initialize the sub modules init okay the last one update now after this we have to rebuild the controller so we'll again use sudo and clean this is to delete the earlier files sudo and okay the build is successful now let's try to launch the controller now let's check the web ui so this is our web ui running now so we have successfully downloaded the floodlight stn controller using the master branch we updated the sub modules and then we run the controller and have this web ui uh, displayed so that's the first part in the second part i'll show you how we can run the controller a bit easier way using docker so before we do that let's have a simple example create a simple topology uh, mini net and then we'll switch to our second part okay the topology is up let's ping all okay then check the ui refresh first then go to the topology and this is the topology which we just created so our controller is running okay now that's it and control c to close the controller Okay, for the next step in this part, we'll see uh, how we can get the controller running using Docker as a Docker container. So first of all, we should have Docker installed. So let's check that. 
docker dot io edit so here is already the newest version for me so if you don't have or it's older one you can just use this command to uh, get the docker next thing to get the image so for this sudo docker search solar light okay we have the list of images here available so we have to use this one i'll copy this next command we need to use is to pull the image which we will use to build the container it will take a while just be patient okay the image is downloaded so we can check our downloaded images using docker images command so here is our downloaded image now this is just an image so we have to create a container out of this image using the commands like use sudo docker run in detached mode or as a daemon and we have to expose ports 6653 from the container to 6653 to the host and also port 8080 from the container to the 8080 to the host and then we have to specify a name solar light that will be easy and we need to give the image name just press the enter so this code tells that the container is created so now what we have to just check so we can just say docker ts all so here is our container up and running yeah here is the so our now we have created a container based on this image the name we gave the ports we uh, expose so we have the 6653 uh, and 8080 and here it says the status as up now similar way now this is this is the controller which is already running as a daemon so you just open this uh, browser and again use the same same url to use the gui index and here is the controller uh, inside the docker container running so here we don't have any topologies yet so we can use another tab to just create simple topology 6653 so that's it ping all and let's refresh see the topology so the topology is created the minimal topology which we just created and we use the controller which is running as a uh, docker container